Hey guys, Serpent here. Today, I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna make a review of Havlad DH-98 Mosquito, one of the most successful aircraft of World War II, especially for Britain. It's been a while since I've done a war on the video, so here it is, the DH-98 Mosquito. In War Thunder is the Mark VI. You have the Mark VI and the Mark XVIII. In reality, the Havlad, in 1935, the Havlad um, wanted to make a new fast bomber because all the people were building were heavy bombers, big engines. They were just big. Havlad wanted to make something small, but capable of carrying bombs and being very fast. In 1935, he decided to design the Havlad Mosquito, and a lot of people just didn't believe that this thing will fly, because it was made out of wood, and the thing that was made out of, um, well, steel and aluminium, were engines, cockpit, and landing gear, everything else, was that with wood. The, ha the Havlad wanted to make one thing only, to make it the fastest aircraft in the world, to intercept every single fighter and bomber that was in that time. Nobody really believed that this thing is going to be the fastest aircraft in the world, and especially that it's going to fly, because it was made out of wood and nobody believed that it's going to that the war is going to handle such high speed and pressure. <coughs> but Havlat um, moved into, when the war started, he moved into the countryside, into well, a family farm, he bought it. I don't know what he did, but he went to that building, some kind of a farm, he used barn as a hangar, in the building, he was designing the prototype of the Mosquito. In 1940, the prototype was done, and he test-flied it. The results were phenomenal. It was 20 miles an hour faster than the fastest aircraft in the world at that time. So the Mosquito was the new fastest aircraft in the world, and it was capable of carrying those bombs. And it could carry 4,000 pound bomb load, but in this game it can only carry 2, 250 pound and 2, 500 pound. But hey, it's full thunder. <coughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, after he tested, a lot of people saw the capabilities and the speed of this aircraft. So, a company, I don't know how the, what the hell that company name was, but they said to the Havlad, make 150 to them and deliver it to me. So he did, he delivered it, and the results of this aircraft were just phenomenal. It's really historical aircraft. The Havland believed that this thing is gonna do good and did good. It was mostly used for military operations and people were just asking him how he's going to defend himself. I mean, he didn't have any um, defensive armaments of the aircraft, not like in War Fund days as four machine guns and four cannons. In reality it had no defense at all. It only had um well, 1200 horses on each wing. Havlet said he doesn't need any defenses. His only defense will be speed. It was used to drop the bombs on the target and get the hell out of there as quickly as possible before the enemy fighters get up there and finish them off. Which they didn't, of course. Uh, German pilots were awarded. If a German pilot destroyed the mosquito, it was awarded by destroying two aircraft instead of one because it was just so hard to destroy a mosquito because of its superior speed. <coughs> and in that time the mosquito 
really was super aircraft. Um, it was mainly used for destroying the targets of the um, France because Germans invaded France and made France. But still, um, the thing about this aircraft I have read that the mosquito um, they actually attacked Berlin 200 and I think it was about 270 to 80 days in a row that is sick <laughs> and they always did good they bombed it they went back no nothing destroyed it but when the Germans developed a new secret weapon it was just a jet nobody would fly it they attached jet engine to some kind of an aircraft, they send it to Britain and it was destroyed there. The British pilots didn't know didn't um, like that so the Mosquito was basically the fastest aircraft at that time so they took care of that job even though it was a jet engine aircraft that the Germans had the Mosquito had to go on high on altitude when it spotted him it died, it dove and <coughs> intercepted um, later on, it was equipped with four 7.7mm machine guns and make it even more powerful. Um, that was the, I think it was the Mark's experience. I don't know. Um, yeah. But it was also the case that the Mosquito was, uh, there were five mosquitoes in, um, in a squadron flying to Germany and they ran into a massive group of FWs. Of course they're gonna be defeated and they were. The British know that because they weren't back. And um, this aircraft was really really good at turning and it they had the cap capabilities of dogfighting as well. Because, because later on when those uh, five mosquitoes were down, they find out that they have also took down five of their German FWs. This aircraft was really, really <coughs> unique. <coughs> it was almost the strongest weapon, but as you see, I'm firing the 7.7 millimeters right now. The 7.7 mils. Um, in reality they were quite good, in Wolf Hunter not so, but in Wolf Hunter it's good for destroying the ground attacks and so on. But in reality, the, um, they said that the light of fire of the 7.7 .7 was so massive that it almost blinded the, um, the pilot. But later on the pilot got used to it and They destroyed everything they saw. They also had the mission to um, bomb the. I think it was yeah, to bomb the prison in France where um, Germans kept um, a lot of Fr French um, French people. I think it was about 300 of them. What they said. What the French said to the British, strike now or never, which it was on the day where, when it was really foggy in Britain, it was almost impossible to fight the mosquito in that time, in that in those kind of conditions. But they still did it. They said, screw it, we're gonna do it, and they did. When they crossed the English Channel, suddenly the weather became clear, and all they has to do is go there, bomb. The, the wall of the base because they had to go come there in the time where all the wardens were having lunch and all the French people were, at, were outside. What they had to do was destroy the, the wall and they could escape. So five of them flew to France they destroyed um, the wall and 280 people were rescued 
Thirty of them were killed by wardens when they realized that the mosquitoes attacked. But still, 280, much better than a bit all dead. So. Not a successful thing by the mosquito. Um, the mosquito was also fully um, operational in D-Day. It did amazingly in D-Day. So yeah, like I said, this thing was mainly designed, designed for bombing. Later on, it was designed as a fighter, as a heavy fighter, of course. Then, as a fighter bomber, reconnaissance aircraft, spy aircraft. It had so many different roles. I think this is the aircraft that had the most roles in the history of aviation. So it really was an amazing aircraft to fly. What the, which is also what the mosquito pilot said. It was really enjoyable to fly. But in War Thunder, this aircraft isn't really superior as it was in the real reality. In reality, it went 700 km an hour. In this game, it does fall. <laughs> So yeah, not the misplay by the Gaijin, but hey, it's War Thunder, fuck the War Thunder. <coughs> but in War Thunder, it can dogfight. It has four 20mm cannons, as I'm firing them right now. And you see, I, am, I have run out of MG ammunition, which is machine guns, and I only have the cannons left, so the rest of them are firing the cannons. So, unique aircraft of Britain, really unique, really successful, it had so many different roles, but the hell company didn't last long, it was found in 1920 and lived to 1964 as the owner, the Havilad, died in 1965, one year after the company fallen. I really like this aircraft, even in War Thunder, it can do good. What you have to do is just to attack the ground units, like I'm doing it right here. Really superior aircraft. Hella mosquito. In War Thunder, it is my favorite twin engine fighter bomber. In War Thunder, it is a fighter bomber variant, but you also have the Mark 18, which is also in reality. It was equipped with four 7.7s and one 57mm cannon, which was capable of destroying ships in reality. So, in reality, Mosquito really was a pain in the ass for Germans. It really, really, it was a really successful aircraft for destroying everything. So, here you go. I have destroyed, I think there was 13 ground units. I have achieved the Ant match. Yeah, the glory days of the Mosquito didn't last long. It was produced from 1940 to 1950. But of course the mosquito didn't last long as well. It was made out of wood, which means it's, it's gonna fall apart someday, and it did. Because the glue isn't gonna hold forever. And it also didn't. Today, I think only one or two of them are flying. I'm not sure. But... Only because people build it in our days. There are blueprints that exist, but you have to do it like it was done in uh, the past. Out of scratch, made out of wood. It had two Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, the same engines as on the Spitfire. Together it had 1200, um, not, I mean 2400 horses. It really was a super, super aircraft. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.